I said, people, are you ready? My name is Pato Bantan. I was born in London. My family is from Jamaica. I call myself an English, Jamaican, African American. I'm very glad to be here. And I've been playing reggae music now for over 40 years. So we've got a short set to give you, but we're going to give you what we got. I'm going to take away my keys. I want to. One, two, check. Yeah. Are we ready? Are you ready? Yeah. All right, this first one is called Reggae Party. All right, let's do this. jazz concert. This is a reggae vibe right now. And all you people hiding by the trees, come down. All you girls at the top of the hill, come down, man. Come on. I remember you two. I saw you two earlier. What are you doing all the way up there? Come on, man. Bring those beautiful African outfits down here. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, we're gonna party, party, party. 
you say life is a rocky road, but we've got to walk it. Truth must be told, and we've got to talk it. Yes, the truth has got to be restated, that everybody on this planet is related. Take a look at your planetary history. You heredity and your ancestry. Genealogy and human biology. Well, obviously, we are one family. So argument should never get heated, no. And when we fight, everyone is defeated, yo. Treat me the way you want to be treated, yo. And I step to our pieces completed, I am. Later. 
Satan. But first we must remember that we are all related spiritually. How many people believe that we are all connected spiritually? And even if you're not spiritual, even if you're more into science and evolution, you have to agree that we are all connected genetically and biologically and through mother nature. So I'm going to ask you one more time, if you believe that we are all God's children, brothers and sisters, let me see your hand. Keep your hand up, keep your hand up. Hold on sisters, hold on, hold on, don't go here. Come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. Come here, one minute, come back, come back, one minute. One minute, keep your hand up everybody. And what I want you to do for me, I want you to turn around slowly and give everyone around you a high five. Two people, three people, four people, five people. Black, white, yellow, red, brown. Make sure you give the children a high five too, yeah. Spread that love, spread that love, spread that love. Yeah, now take it to the bridge. Yeah, regardless of your race or nationality, we are family. Yes, we are family. Regardless of your creed or sexuality, we are family. Yes, we are family. Deserving of justice and equality.
something on the microphones? No? Alright. Give me some love, baby. Give me some love. By the way, this is my wifey. Alright. Tell everybody, if you're in contact with anybody, we are live right now on Facebook. Instagram, WhatsApp, everything. All around the world going live right now. So I want to switch it up just a little bit. And how many people performed on the stage today? How many people performed? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right. Can we have a big round of applause for all of you? The amazing talent. Amazing talent. So, how many people celebrated Juneteenth? I didn't see all the hands go up. I'm going to ask again. How many people celebrated Juneteenth? All right, the people up by the tree celebrated too. celebrated we live in a small town in Southern California 70 miles outside of Los Angeles called Lake Elsinore it's a very conservative town but we convinced the city council the mayor the Chamber of Commerce the Sheriff's Department and Storm Stadium to host Juneteenth in our small town of Lake Elsinore. And at first, we had a lot of resistance. So I did an interview, and I told the interviewer, I am not Irish, but every year, I celebrate St. Patrick's Day. I am not Chinese, as you can see. But every year I celebrate what? The Chinese New Year. I did not cross the Mexico border illegally like my guitarist. Oh, sorry, sorry. But every year I celebrate what? Cinco de Mayo. And even though I know July 4th, was not created with black people in mind because we were still enslaved. I still celebrate Independence Day because I believe every nation should have its independence. Even if they were not right at the time, I am free now 
so I can celebrate my independence every July 4th. And I don't have to throw away the American independence. I can embrace it and make it mine and improve on it and make it better and all-inclusive of everybody. So my message for all the people who are not black is you don't have to be black to celebrate Juneteenth. Because Juneteenth is about the emancipation and the freedom of black people from slavery. And everyone in America should celebrate that. Does anybody agree with me? And as we know, Juneteenth is now a national holiday. So all the people who didn't know about it before, they're gonna get a day off next year and they're gonna say, why am I getting a day off? And they're gonna learn about Juneteenth. But anyway, I have a song that I think should be one of the theme songs or anthem song for Juneteenth. There should be many, but I have one that I think should be one. I didn't write it, but I'm gonna do it right now. And I hope you like it. And if you know the words, please sing it with me. It goes like this. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm going to imagine I still got my dreadlocks.
You got time for one more? Alright. You guys having a good time? Can somebody say Madaraka? I gotta be careful how I say that. Every time I say it, I think I'm saying a bad word. But I know it's not a bad word. Madaraka! Yeah, man. This next one is called Never Give In. Life is a struggle. Love you too. Thank you, my sister. Life is a struggle, but we never give in. We never give in. We never give in. Select! Save your soul. 